Well, <laughs> it's bitter. It tastes so good. This is the first time that I really like a beer. Hi everyone, I am back with another very Slovak adventure and that is trying the beers from Czechoslovakia. Now I said Czechoslovakia because I wanted to include both the beers from Slovakia and Czech. It is very well known that Europe has the highest consumption of beer in the world. But the country who topped the list, who has the highest beer consumption per capita is none other than Czech. Yes, I guess our friends from Czech and Slovakia are not very surprised with this. Czech Republic consumes around 143.3 liters of beer per capita. And the second country is far behind of it. Namibia, a country in Africa, is the second on the list. And they consume around 108 liters of beer per capita. So I went over and looked for Slovakia on the list. And no, it's not on the top 10. And it was so surprising because I always thought that Slovaks were heavy drinkers. Anyways, Slovakia is ranked number 13 with 80 liters of beer consumption per capita. Interestingly, the first brewery here in Slovakia was from the village called Vinje. <laughs> Vinje. <laughs> Where the beer are made by the monks. Which is very ironic because I thought monks are not supposed to drink. Anyways, as many other things, when industrialization came here in Europe, a lot of factories opened up to mass produce beer here in Slovakia, which in return affected the price and the quality of the beer. The most famous breweries during the old times were Topvar, Šariš, Zlaty Bajan, Urpiner, Tarnavan. <laughs> I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing pronouncing these names correctly, but there are many more. But in 1990, privatizatia happened where they sold these breweries to private companies and some of them are gone by now. Former husband and many other Slovaks and even some of you who commented on the post here in YouTube said that some of these beers have lost quality over time. Some of these breweries are speeding the process and that's the reason why the quality is lowering. Many oldies from Slovakia will say that these beers are not the same anymore. Fortunately, there are still small breweries here, local breweries, that still use the old process with a very good ingredients. So if you are after the quality and don't really mind paying extra, you can still find them here in Slovakia. So my husband, along with all your suggestions, choose these beers that I'm going to try today. I am pretty sure that most of these beers I have not tried before because, well, I'm not very fan of beer. We don't have a lot of choices of beers in the Philippines because it's a big monopoly business over there. But the most popular beers in the Philippines, I think, would be San Miguel, Pale Pilsen, and Red Horse. For some unknown reason, my husband really liked Red Horse. So what's gonna happen is that I am going to try these beers that my husband and you guys chose for me and I'm going to try them anonymously so I will not know what is this beer that I'm trying. And at the very end, I'm going to give my top 3 and my worst choice of beer. I am not a beer expert as I have said I'm not a big fan of it. This is just purely for fun and based on my own preferences and the taste. <laughs> so if I don't choose the best one, please forgive me. So these are the beers that I'm going to try today. And in front of it are the beers that my husband randomly um, arranged so that I don't know which ones of which and also I have Slovakia chips. <laughs> so let's begin. Let's begin here. Well, <laughs> it's bitter. It's bitter. Typical beer. <laughs> I'm the worst beer taster. <laughs> Thank you. 
the same thing. <laughs> I think they're gonna taste all the same. Okay, this third one is a bit lighter. I don't know. Hmm, this actually smells very nice. Pochkai. Let's compare. This one tastes real beer. <laughs> Yeah, this one tastes typical beer. But this one had the taste of like a mint or lemon or some herb. It's very weird. <laughs> I don't know, it feels like it would taste nice, but I'm kind of. Uh, no, no. Let's try. Wow! This is not a beer! it forward so I remember it let's have this one it has the same color as the first two but the, the smell is a bit different okay <coughs> I don't like this it's really really bitter let's go to the fifth one Mm, I think this is fine. I really don't... It's difficult to explain what is the taste of this. It tastes like beer but very light. So it's... I don't feel the bitterness there. So it will be just there in the middle. Okay, let's try. Ah, this one is good as well. Mmm, I like this one. Keep it forward. Number seven. Ah, I like this one as well. This is nice. I wonder which one is it. This, the eighth beer that I'm going to try, has the most different color among them. And it smells like apple juice. I'm excited to try it. <laughs> Let's do it. Mm, it's so good! I can't believe this is beer. It's like a cocktail. Which one of this is this one? Okay, I will move this one back because I'm only choosing number three. And this one goes to top three. This one I like. Let's go to the last one. The color, very similar to the other beers, like the first and uh, second. And the smell, the smell is a bit different. It's lighter, not, not the typical beer I know. And <coughs> this is very strong. I don't like Okay, now, I think this is also worse. <laughs> I don't like this one. Now, it's time to reveal which is my top three most favorite and the two that I really don't like the most. Okay, so my first, this is in a order. My first that I really, really like is this one. And what number is it? Number four, it's Steiger. Did I pronounce it correctly? Steiger. Steiger. Steiger? Radler. Steiger Radler. Ah, that's why there is a lemon and ah, I knew it. I smelled it. There's a lemon and the milk and it's really, really good. But is this alcoholic? No. No? There's no alcohol? <laughs> it's for kids like me. That's why I like it. <laughs> okay, the second one that I really like is this, and it's what number? 
Number five. Ah, this one. It's called Bernard Shvetska. Bernard Chisto Hlavo Shvetska. What does it mean? Plum. It's made of plum? It's also without the alcohol. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> so I choose everything without the alcohol. I'm a worse. Okay. And the third one that I really like is this one. I think this one is a bit alcoholic, but it's very light. And the number three. Aha! Urpiner! I knew it because I was having Urpiner. Urpiner? Urpiner in Czech. I knew it. Yes, didn't I have it in Czech? Is it? <laughs> I thought I was drinking Urpiner and Czech. I'm so terrible. Okay. <laughs> Urpiner is my third one. Now, let's talk about the two beer that is like the worst for me in terms of taste. So, I think this one. And number two. Sharish. <laughs> I don't like Sharish, but I think this is kind of popular. Oh my god, a lot of people will bash me. <laughs> and the next one is number nine. Sviani. Sviani. Is it, what is it? Sviani. Ah, no? Sviani. Yeah, they will bash you. They will, <laughs> they will bash me again. Oh my god. So, so slow, I got so check. <laughs> <laughs> Which one is Czech? Sviani is, is Czech and Ur uh, Sharish is Slovak. Yeah. Okay, sorry guys, I do not know your beard very well. But I had fun trying this and I hope you will have fun watching this video as well. Alright guys, before I end this video, I want to tell something because the other day, one of you, one of my subscribers and followers in uh, Instagram as well, was messaging me that he or she <laughs> will send a bottle of wine if I can pronounce this word correctly. Well, you don't have to send me a bottle of wine, but I will still take the challenge and pronounce the word. But you guys tell me if I pronounce it correctly because I'm pretty confident that I can. <laughs> so, the word is Kuopor. Kuopor. Sajim. <laughs> For English speakers, the word means leak. Oh no! Deal. Deal, I know. Yeah. So, I hope that I pronounced that correctly. And I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Whatever your thoughts about it, send me in the comments below. You know that I love watching... No. Reading. <laughs> You know that I love reading all your comments and I hope that you love watching my videos. Thank you so much and see you again next time. Bye!